hello friends how are you all welcome to my channel to IGC's accounting tutorial today we are going to solve January 2007 question number two uh, before starting I would like to request you to watch this entire video the video is going to be lengthy uh, if you watch this video till the end you will be able to understand the tricky parts of these questions so stay with us till the end let's start the following trial balance was extracted from the books of michael hughes a retailer on 31st october 2006 the suspense account was opened when the trial balance failed to agree the causes of the difference were discovered later and are set out in note one on the next page what is the balance of the suspense account 1600 on credit side you are required to prepare trading and profit and loss accounts for the year to 31st october 2006 and the balance sheet at 31st october 2006 taking the following into account the trial balance had failed to agree for these reasons 200 pound cash taken for the owner's personal expenses had been debited in the cash account and debited to general expenses account vehicle running expenses of 1200 pound had been correctly posted to the expense account but no entry had been made in the bank account first of all we will solve these two adjustments for which the trial balance did not match okay for the first one 200 cash was taken for the owner's personal expense this amount was taken for owner's personal expense correct journal will be the correct journal of this transaction will be cash credit 200 and drawings debit 200 but it was recorded as cash debit 200 and general expense debit 200 two debit entry was made and suspense account credited by 400 by mistake two debit entry was made instead of cash crediting and drawings debiting and suspense account has been credited by 400 because there always must be a dual effect it is accounting rule for every debit entry there must be credit entry or for every credit entry there must be debit entry there can't be only a debit entry or only a credit entry so now we know what should have been the correct entry and what entry have been given by mistake so we need to rectify this so first you need to reverse the wrong entry cash was debited cash must be credited general expense was debited general expense must be credited by doing this the wrong entry the wrong entry which was given by mistake will be reversed as the cash and general expense is credited by 200 each so the suspense account must be debited by 400 to balance it as i said for the dual effect by doing this the wrong entry or journal is reversed as the reverse has been made then give the correct entry it will be cash credit and drawings debit as i said initially so overall what was the entire journal which was made for this adjustment that is drawings debit by 200 which is a part of the correct entry here it is drawings debit suspense account debit 400 here it is suspense account must be debited by 400 to balance it cash in hand credit 400 400 because uh, initially the cash was debited it was corrected later on it was reversed cash was debited it was reversed later on cash was credited by 200 then the correct entry of 200 cash credit was made so 200 200 400 two cash credit entry was made so by adding 200 200 it becomes 400 and at last general expense credit by 200 general expense was debited general expense must be credited so done now we will solve the second adjustment vehicle running expenses of 1200 pound had been correctly posted to the expense account but no entry had been made in the bank account okay vehicle loading expense for 1200 and paid by bank its correct entry will be vehicle loading expense debit 1200 and bank account credit 1200 first entry was made but the second entry of bank account has not been made by mistake instead of bank account suspense account is credited by 1200 to correct it the journal will be suspense account debit 1200 and bank account credit 1200 because there always be a dual effort as i have said earlier here it is suspense account debit 1200 cash at bank credit 1200 if you have any question please comment in my comment box i will try to solve it out the two adjustment of suspense account has been solved 
okay now we will do the next part stock was valued at 6000 pounds at selling price on 31st october 2006 michael hughes had previously used cost as the most suitable valuation and intends to continue with this approach use a markup of 50% to amend the stock valuation the selling price of the closing stock is 6000 but in the profit and loss account we cannot value closing stock as the selling price it must be at cost price and it is also told that michael has previously used cost price as the most suitable valuation and tends to continue as in the question markup percentage is told so obviously we will have to use markup and margin formulas to solve this question i am sharing markup and margin formulas with you please have a look markup equals to gross profit by cost of goods sold into 100 margin equals to gross profit by sales into 100 there are more two formulas including this two if markup is given and if you want to directly convert markup into margin then the formula will be x divided by 100 plus x into 100 here x is the markup value as in this question is 50 one more formula if margin is given and if you want to directly convert margin into markup then the formula will be x divided by 100 minus x into 100 here x is the margin value as the markup percentage is given uh, we will try to use the first formula markup equals to gross profit by cost of goods sold into 100 but gross profit and cost of goods sold is not provided in the question only the selling price of the closing stock is provided so we will not be able to use the first formula in the second one margin equals to gross profit by sales into 100 here only we know the selling price the sales value of the closing stock we don't know the margin percentage we don't know the gross profit so here also we will not be able to use this formula we have another formula that is uh, converting markup to margin directly and the formula is x divided by 100 plus x into 100 we will be using this formula because if we convert markup to margin using this formula directly we will know the margin percentage and then we will use this formula margin equals to gross profit by sales into 100 because we will be knowing the margin percentage we will be knowing the selling price of the closing stock so we will able to find the gross profit very easily okay so let's start as the selling price is given and the markup is given so we need to convert directly to margin because if you want to calculate the cost price of the closing stock we will need the selling price and gross profit so to convert to margin 50 divided by 100 plus 50 into 100 the answer is 33.33 then as i said earlier we will be using this formula i have copied this one just here margin equals to gp by sales into 100 margin is 33.33 gp we will have to find it out selling price of the closing stock is 6000 so gp will be if you calculate in your calculator it will be 1999.8 down figure i took 2000 okay the selling price of the closing stock is 6000 the gp of that good is 2000 so the cost of the goods will be here i have calculated it this is the selling price this is the gross profit so selling price minus cost of goods equals to gross profit so by back calculating i find out that the cost price of the closing stock is 4000 clear now we will solve the depreciation part there is one more adjustment told in this question that is allow for business rates due but unpaid to 50 pound and for insurance paid in advance 104 pound we will be uh, using this uh, adjustment while preparing profit and loss account and balance sheet we don't need it right now so we will start with depreciation provide for depreciation by the reducing balance method on equipment 10% and vehicles 30% what is the cost price of vehicle and equipment vehicle at cost 15000 vehicle cost 15000 equipment at cost 5000 accumulated depreciation of equipment 950 equipment 950 accumulated depreciation of vehicles 4500 the rule of calculating the depreciation under reducing balance method is that cost minus opening accumulated depreciation after deducting 4500 from 15000 the remaining balance on that remaining balance you will have to apply the percentage this is the rule of reducing balance method depreciation clear so here we have done the same 15000 minus 4500 equals to 10500 on this value 30% is 3150 same goes with equipment you can check it by calculating in your calculator i would like to tell that uh, there is uh, one more asset 
in this question that is premises and the value of this premises is 1,86,000 and there is no opening provision for depreciation provided for premises and it is not told in the question to find the depreciation of premises okay and the percentage is also not given so due to all these reasons we assume that premises is a kind of an asset that do not depreciate okay it might be a land it might be a building it might be any asset that cannot be depreciated mainly these kinds of assets are land and property okay so as in this question uh, the premises doesn't contain any depreciation we assume that this is a land property okay now we will prepare trading and profit and loss account of this business we will uh, select items of trading and profit and loss accounts from the trial balance and transfer it to the excel file okay cash at bank it is not an trading profit and loss item it is a balance sheet item so it will not be transferred cash in hand balance sheet item trade creditors trade debtors balance sheet item capital balance sheet item wages of sales assistant this item is used in trading and profit and loss account so we have transferred it. wages of sales assistant 11,000 vehicle expenses 3500 vehicle expenses 3500 this is a profit and loss item vehicle at cost it will be carried to balance sheet stock at 1st November 2005 this is the value of the opening stock of this business 4500 this is the part of winning stock 4500 this has been kept under cost of goods sold. okay cash discounts one on the debit side and the other on the credit side this one is cash discount received on the credit side means cash discounts received on the debit side means cash discounts allowed it's a kind of an income cash discount received 640 cash discounts allowed 520 under expenses under other income drawings balance sheet item equipment at cost balance sheet item heating and lighting PL 600 heating and lighting 600 insurance 59 insurance 590 minus 104 it was told in the question that for insurance paid in advance 104 the balance which was shown in trial balance it includes a figure of 104 which is paid for next year's advance so it is not a part of this year's expense this expense has not been incurred during this year so it will not be part of this year's expense okay so i have deducted this amount from 590 590 minus 104 486 I have given a note you can read it because it was told insurance expense include 104 advance for next year which is not this year's profit and loss accounts part next purchase and sales 4 lakh 6 lakh debit side means purchase credit side means sales 6 lakh sales purchase 4 lakh general expense 450 general expense 450 as we have solved previously that general expense was credited by 200 because it was recorded general expense debit by 200 by mistake that's why it has been credited if we have a look at the suspense adjustment that we have done previously you can understand here is the wrong entry it was recorded as cash debit and general expense debit 200 so this amount which was supposed to be on drawings debit it has been entered at general expense debit so this one has been credited that's why general expense has been decreased by 200 okay after general expense premises this is also a part of balance sheet provision for depreciation this one is also a part of balance sheet business rates there is one more adjustment of business rates here it is allow for business rates due but unpaid to 50 pounds business rates 2500 was provided in the trial balance but there was more 250 amount incurred during this year as expense but not paid so this 250 is this year's expense and it should be noted in the profit and loss account of this year so overall the business rates value will be 2750 after adding 250 and this 250 will be shown under current liability as business rates payable because this amount is not paid during this year it will be paid in future and regarding insurance 104 this amount will be shown under current asset in balance sheet as insurance advance or advance insurance because this is the amount which is an asset for the business and it has been paid for next year not for this year clear business rates gone suspense account suspense account has been debited initially 400 and 1200 so suspense account has been dissolved suspense account does not exist so will not be bringing this 
into in any of the profit and loss account or balance sheet. next the depreciation part vehicle 3150 equipment 405 as we have calculated the depreciation amount previously this is the amount 3150 and this is the amount of for equipment 405 3150 405 so the total of expense is 22661 and the total of other income is 640 one more thing the closing stock value at cost price we have calculated previously that is 4000 we have brought this closing stock value 4000 clear so we need to add this up 4500 plus 4 lakh minus 4000 equals to 400500 this is the cost of goods sold the sales is 6 lakhs 6 lakhs minus 400500 equals to gross profit 199500 other income will be added with gross profit and all the expenses will be deducted after adding gross profit and other income so 199500 plus 640 minus 22661 equals to 177479 this is the net profit of this business clear now we are going to prepare the balance sheet in the same way we will select uh, the items from here the items which belongs to balance sheet we will transfer it to the excel file clear cash at bank 12600 it's a balance sheet item so we will transfer it under current asset cash at bank 11400 see the note please 1200 was credited see suspense correction here vehicle running expense for 1200 and paid by bank its correct entry will be vehicle running expense debit 1200 and bank account credit 1200 so as the cash at bank entry was not made by mistake so here the transactions mistake has been rectified and cash at bank has been credited that's why the cash at bank balance had decreased by 1200 next cash in hand 980 this is also a current asset item cash in hand 580 400 credited see suspense correction here cash in hand credit 400 as cash was debited by mistake by 200 that was credited by 200 and the correct entry of cash credit 200 was made so 2 200 means 400 so cash in hand credited by 400 that's why here 400 has been deducted clear next trade creditors and trade debtors debit side means debtors credit side means creditors 18700 debtors 12000 creditors 18700 trade debtors under current assets under current liability 12000 trade creditor capital this will be recorded under finance by 63250 63250 credit side wages of sales assistance profit and loss vehicle expenses profit and loss vehicle at cost 15000 vehicle cost 15000 equipment cost 5000 here it is 5000 premises no cost value no depreciation value the net book value is the cost value as i have explained previously the depreciation value please remember that after calculating current year's depreciation the depreciation amount which will be placed in balance sheet will be calculated after adding the opening accumulated depreciation and the current year's depreciation okay so accumulated depreciation plus 3150 equals to 7650 for vehicles and same for the equipment so the amount will be 7650135 7650135 this is the figure after deducting 7650 from 15000 that is 7350 same goes with equipment fixed assets done vehicle at cost equipment at cost premises provision for depreciation on equipment provision for depreciation on vehicles next stock at first november profit and loss item cash discounts profit and loss item drawings this is the part of balance sheet drawings 21200 please have a look here the correct journal for withdrawing cash for owners personal expense will be cash credit drawings debit so here it is drawings debit has been made by 200 that's why the drawings amount has increased by 200 in the trial balance that the the drawings figure was 21,000 in the accounts it is 21,200 equipment at cost done heating and lighting profit and loss insurance 590 there was an adjustment made in the profit and loss account for insurance 104 this was an asset for the company because it was paid in advance for next year so this will be under current asset advanced insurance 104 
done purchase and sales profit and loss item general expense profit and loss item premises balance sheet item done this three has been done business rates there was one more adjustment for business rates in the profit and loss account business rates 250 is current year's expense and this has not been added in the trial balance so this amount has been charged under current liabilities business rates payable because this amount has not been paid this year this will be shown as liability in balance clear closing stock for thousand closing stock is a current asset for the business so the closing stock is four thousand four thousand net profit one seven seven four seven nine the net profit of this year is one seven seven four seven nine balance sheet net profit one seven seven four seven nine now add it up the summation of these three is one nine six nine nine five the summation of these five is three four seven eight four adding one nine six nine nine five plus three four seven eight four equals two two three one seven seven nine the summation of these two is twelve thousand two hundred and fifty here in finance by this is calculated by adding capital plus net profit minus drawings here it is two one nine five two nine plus one two two five zero equals to two three one seven seven nine two three one seven seven nine balance sheet is matched if you like my video please share with your friends and family like my facebook page subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can receive notifications about my latest videos thanks for watching bye bye